Alright, welcome back math friends to another video and this one is going to be talking about percent change. So as usual it's good to start off with a, a little bit about percent change to know exactly what we're talking about. So take this note if you don't have it already, we're going to say that percent change is useful because it reveals how great a change in value is relative to the original value. And you can see I've italicized that last part. I think this is especially important because you might be saying to yourself, well, I usually just want to know the amount that something changes. Why would I want a percent change? Why do I need to know how much it is relative to the original value? Well, let me illustrate this with an example. So you may hear um, maybe that during my class today, I told 25 hilarious jokes. And that's pretty reasonable. But um, that sounds like a lot, and you're going to be impressed maybe to start, oh, it must have been a great day, but then you hear from my students, oh, Mr. Schwartz usually tells 23 or 24 hilarious jokes at least a class period, so then you realize that 25 isn't showing us that it's really a, an incredible class period for me, it's just kind of barely above the norm. Uh, so it's, it's good to know what the original value is, but let's get back to maybe a more realistic example uh, than me actually being funny. So here we go. Example number one, your best skiing time at the Copper Mountain Ski Course was 21.5 seconds, 21 and 5 tenths seconds. However, you set a new personal record of 16 and 77 hundredths seconds last weekend. What was the percent change in your best time? So if we're going to calculate a percent change, the first thing we need to know is find out the amount that we changed. And to do that, we're just going to subtract the two values to see what was the amount of our change. And in this case, we changed from 21 and 5 tenths seconds to 16 and 77 hundredths seconds. And it's important to remember that if you're going to be adding or subtracting decimals to line up those place values and fill in any placeholder zeros. So let's just figure this out really quickly. I hope that you're taking down these notes hopefully or at least following along and showing your work as well. So we find out that we dropped our time by 4 and 73 hundredths seconds. So we found the amount that we changed, but we want to know, is that a big drop, is that a small drop? I, d I don't really know yet, but a percent change would tell me. So we're going to compare the amount that we changed as our numerator, or our dividend, and we're going to use the original time, and this is always true, we'll always use the original value, or the first value, and in this case it's 21 and 5 10 seconds. We're going to say, what is this change compared to our original time? And to do this, we're going to have to do a little division. So we'll say 4 and 73 hundredths divided by 21 and 5 tenths. Now, before we can actually do this division, we need to swoop those decimals. You know, I'm going to make this look nicer. This looks poor. 4 and 73 hundredths, 21 and 5 tenths. And we're going to swoop these decimals, and that makes sense because what we're actually doing here mathematically is we're thinking, well, we're creating an equivalent fraction by multiplying by 10, because when we multiply by 10, we can move the decimal once to the right. And now we're just going to ask how many times does 215 fit into 473? my do new decimal right here, and the answer there is twice, because 2 times 215, that's some mental math we could do, would be 430. If you subtract, you'll get 43 and bring down a zero. Well, now we have 430. Well, I've seen that just now when we multiply 215 times 2. So we find that the change is 22 hundredths, which is a 22 percent change and it's actually a decrease. We'll call this a decrease because our time went down. So while a little more than or a little less than five seconds doesn't sound like a lot of time in the ski race it's apparently a pretty big pretty big uh, improvement we made. Let's look on to our next example. This one I enjoy a lot um, because it has to do with the way I look at grades as a teacher. So Kevin's original score on his test was a 65% after test corrections, he brought up the test grade to a 
Layla scored an 80% on the test and brought her grade up to an 88% with test corrections. Who had a better percent change due to test corrections? Well, first let's focus on Kevin. And Kevin went from a 65% to a 78%. So again, the first thing we want to find out is we want to find out what is the actual amount that changed. And a little subtraction here will show us that he increased by 13 percentage points. But again, we need to compare that to the original value, which in this case was 65%. And again, this division will show us that 65 goes into 130 twice. So we get 2 tenths, which as a percentage will be a 20% increase in his test score which is really impressive and shows me good work. Let's look at Layla's because she obviously did really well on the test to start or she has a great score at the end but let's see what her percent change was. So this is another one that's maybe a little bit easier to figure out at least how much she improved. She improved 8 percentage points and again we have to compare that, compare that to her original score. Her original score was an 80 percent. So Layla went from an 80 to an 88, but we're going to use 80, her original. And we could divide again and multiply by 100 to find this percentage, but in cases like this it's probably easier just to use an equivalent fraction. So we're actually going to simplify here. Make an equivalent fraction by dividing top and bottom, numerator and denominator by 8. We get 1 out of 10, and 1 out of 10 is a 10 percent increase in her grade. So it's obvious to look at this and see that, oh, well, Layla scored the higher higher grade on her test, and she has an 88%, which is pretty solid. But if I'm actually looking at, you know, who made better use of my test corrections, Kevin had the better opportunity. He had more, more ground to make up, but he put in the time and the effort, and he went back over his work, and he showed me that he could remaster some material. He got a 20% increase, which is really impressive and makes me happy. All right, that's a, a couple examples for you. I'm going to leave a leave you with a couple to try out on your own. The first one, your bowling average jumped from 124 pins to 146 after your last series. What was the percent change from the last series? And next, you made $8.75 at your summer job last year, but you have received a raise because of your hard work and will earn $10 an hour this year. What is the percent change in your wage? So I want you to show me what you got on these two problems. Um, take a crack at them. Uh, Rewatch the video if you need. But I'm sure you'll do wonderfully, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.